Bear with me one sec. Get, get settled in. Get on the get on the channel. Make sure I'm in the chat. Alright. So what we're going to do today, guys, is I'm going to actually give y'all some tips that y'all can use against people that like to spam stretch runs. Regardless, however they're doing it. We're going to actually use... Well, let me get my team. Dun, dun, dun. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up against a team with a X-Factor running back. Just so that we can kind of validate this. Okay. So. I think y'all guys are going to like this tip. Now. I've been kind of just fucking around with it in regs. You know. Because I was, I was really looking for consistency. And it is very, very consistent. It, it sets the edge. It um, it keeps you out in front of where the run is designed to go, and I think you guys will like it. It's not it's not too overloading. Like you can you can do it in any defense just about. But I would strongly recommend if you're rushing four, you know, or five. If you're blitzing with five, if you're, you want to send a run blitz, make sure you do this. That way you're not blitzing five. You're probably sending four or whatever. So. We'll start with a 4-3 under just, just so that y'all can kind of get an idea. We'll go with a Mike Will cross press. And then we'll just play. We'll pick any stretch run. Assuming. I, I just want a straight stretch. I don't want RPO. Straight stretch. Okay, here's one. Alright, so what you're going to do is... Usually I'll just re-blitz the uh, two inside guys. And what you want to do is you want to make sure these outside guys, they're in seam flats. Okay? Both of these guys are in seam flats. Now, with that, you might want to man up on the outside or whatever. It doesn't matter. But you need to make sure you have them seam flats. And then when you come in to fill the gaps, you set your alignment to fill the gaps. And all you got to do at this point, you know, you bring your safeties down in the box. I want you to pay attention to how the seam flats react. Okay? When he goes to get blocked, what's going to happen, he's going to help me set the edge a little bit better. Now, uh, granted, this is practice mode, so I will get cheesed a couple of times. You go into a game and use this, it's going to help you a lot. Okay? So we're not going to blitz all the linebackers. We're going to keep those seam flats. Now, you can do a variation of things, like if you're worried about, you know, I might go deep half over here, and I might just, you know, come around on the, the back side. You know, just random things or whatever but pay attention to the seam flats how they come around they'll they'll help me set the edge so that I can get around with my user all right so like let's say if he starts flipping the play and he doesn't have that tight end over there and the fullback is the um, lead blocker I'm trying to get a scenario like that but the CPU doesn't really do that too often so you just gonna have to bear with me for a sec because I can do it from different formation. Let me try. I might have to go to single back. No. Assuming they have it. Just want a straight stretch, man. Just give me a straight stretch. Da 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 da. All right, here's a stretch. Again. Just re the two guys on the inside. Keep that seam flat. Okay. Now, again, pay attention to the seam flat and how it reacts. See how he's helping me set the edge? He's pushing the blocker out. Now, if they're not blocking that guy, he's going to come down and he's going to convert on the run. Okay? So I'm just kind of showing you a couple of times how this is going to help you. Now, you can do some other things to kind of, you know, off base. I mean, let's just kind of experiment with that or whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> and see how he, he really just sets the edge. Don't worry about the practice mode shit happening, but I need to get, do like two controllers so I can show you against like flip place. Just give me one sec. <laughs> Because the CPU is just going to cheat. And I want to give y'all what y'all see inside of a realistic game. If you're playing against a user. <laughs> Look at there. He even sets the edge right there. Alright, so. Go to. Pick, choose new play. Just bear with me. And select controller. All right, we're going to do this from a couple of formations. I just like doing it from 4-3 under most. Da -da -da. All right. Come out and look for the stretch run. It is in an RPO. Like some of these RPOs, they kind of just took over the game a little bit. All right. So we got this one. All right, so let's put the scenario without, you know, them using the tight end, okay? Like, let's just say they're trying to offset you, and they're running it to the weak side. What we're going to do, the seam flat, I want you to pay, pay close attention. Look at them guys in the gap. And I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to do that just so that you can see how the seam flat reacts. So when I hike the ball... The seam flat is going to set the edge and force him outside, okay? Sometimes he'll pick up one, sometimes he'll pick up two, okay? He's not technically in a zone, all right? Watch the replay. That seam flat is a man match, all right? So as soon as he die, like his first step, he's not going to necessarily get on the inside and get blocked out because he's in that zone, He's kind of just setting the edge. He's, he's moving out to the side. Okay? Instead of rushing, like, you blitz him, he's going to rush. He's going to get hogtied down there. All right? He's going to get double team. He's probably going to get pancaked. And then you're going to kind of get fucked up on the outside. All right? You know, that guy's going to cut up a lot, a lot sooner than what he should. If you can force him outside the numbers and get your safety down there before he cuts up field, you're going to get a, the best tackle animation as opposed to him moving straight up that's the, that's pretty much going to be your goal all right so we'll try this from different place try it from different formations i was just using the four three under mike will bliss just as as an example because it already has them so what we're going to do is we're going to use different formations to use this technique okay so another one weak slant three we'll use okay I'll just kind of go in here and we'll look for like outside runs. Again, that aren't RPOs because RPOs are bullshit in practice mode. We could probably do it against toss runs, but nobody runs toss like they nerfed the shit out of the tosses. Uh, I guess the only stretch run they got is this one. All right. So this is 4-3 normal. Okay. Now, see, now in this case, the safety is playing that seam flat. Okay. But we don't want the safety playing that seam flat. We want this guy playing the seam flat. Okay. And now we can kind of just man up on the tight end with him. So we got two seam flats on both sides. And now we're comfortable enough 
let me go ahead and just re-blitz these guys because it's very very important you get them guys down in the box you don't need to blitz everybody no see I can go there with the same flat and my play look like that so now I got the seam flats on both sides I'm rushing four on the inside so I'm not giving up an inside rush okay and I have leverage on both outsides whether he decides to flip the play or not so what we'll do is we'll run it as is with the tight inside and then we'll try the other side so when I come around here look at that look at that guys I think we just found something by not even trying to <laughs> All right, so this is actually the weak slant gives us this blitz. It sacks the quarterback before he hands it off. I'm actually going to test this for consistency because we actually came in here trying to figure out just a good outside run defense, but instead <laughs> we found a way to sack the quarterback. Oh, good shit. All right. Again, just re-blitz the guys that are blitzing, put the safety and man on the tight end, and put the outside defender on the edge in the seam flat. Next thing you do is just do your alignment, just like that, and then we go to hike the ball, and look at there. That's back to back. Okay, so people want to hide the good shit, I find the good shit, okay? Follow my channel, bro. Y'all gonna be in y'all gonna be in for a lot of trick or treats coming early. Easter eggs. Alright, just re-blitz these guys in the weak slant. Put the safety in man. Put the defensive end in the seam flat. So now we got the two seam flats, which is gonna help us against the outside run. And if you want this sack animation, just do that. You shouldn't need to commit. And Hike it. Again, eventually they're going to get one. <laughs> so, let's just try it again. Blitz the cat, two guys in a weak slant that are already blitzing. Put the defensive end in the seam flat. Man up the safety in the box on the tight end. And then just, just to do your mana line until they come down. And just hike it. And look at that. Bam. <laughs> so I was actually trying to find this specific animation <laughs> in another defense a couple of weeks ago. And here I am in the 4-3 normal, and I found it. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? It's just coming into practice mode, scheming. It's quick adjust. All quick adjust. And then just hike it. And look at there. Bam. All right, so we found... The QB sack glitch. Well, I wouldn't say it's a glitch. It's just the way it plays is open. Like, it doesn't get nano detected. So, again, weak slant blitz. 4-3 normal. Put the defensive end in front of the tight end in the seam flat. Man up the safety on that tight end so your play art looks like that. And then just align until they fill the gaps. Okay? Just like that. He goes to hike the ball, and bam, we found it. All right, guys, so it didn't exactly play, <laughs> play out like I wanted it to. Um, there's probably other formations that you can do stuff like this. Really, it's going to be to the seam flats. I'm, I'm actually, you know what, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to re... No, I think this video would be all right. So, yeah, so it's 4-3 normal, weak slant, and then just re-blitz the two guys that are already blitzing, just like that. Put the seam flat and man on the tight end. Put the defender in front of the tight end on the seam flat, and then just align until they come down into the box. And when he hikes it, Look at there, he's not, he doesn't really even have anywhere to go, okay? So it's, it's going to be a pretty easy to set up one, two, three, four, 
four adjustments plus the alignment. That's five. Five adjustments. Okay. And then just hike it. Look at her. Okay. So let's say he flips the play. Let me see if we can get this. Okay, we got the play flipped. Let's see if we can get the same animation without flipping it. I would definitely I'm trying to think here. Definitely got to do that. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still keep it like this. This way, we know we don't have to flip the play, and then just hike it from this side okay all right so when they flip the play it's not going to work so you got to make sure if they're motioning that tight end over so like let's say we he, he flips the play let's flip our play okay and then the same thing would apply instead of running the, to the tight end side hold up Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right. Let's, all right, let's flip the play. Let me see if it runs to the other side the same way. Put the safety, in. sometimes it's annoying putting that safety in, man. And then just clear the gaps. Shouldn't need to do anything else. Just make sure he's in that seam flat. Like that. And when he hikes it, yep. Oh, we almost got it. But, look at there. Okay. So, it's pretty consistent. It's a, it's a good adjustment that you can do. Just put the outside leverage defender on the line. He's going to command instant respect from the lineman. So that's going to help you kind of taunt the O-line to kind of manipulate what you want to do. All right, so I hope y'all like it. I don't want to keep this video too long. Um, I just hope this helps. And I hope, you know, my channel hopefully gets some exposure pretty soon because I'm going to be putting some good stuff out for you guys. Okay, appreciate it. Uh-oh.